Hi everybody. Uh, I am um, I'm honored once again to be able to share some of my thoughts with you all um, about some things that I'm experiencing in my life and learning and wanted to pass along in this devotional today. Um, one thing that um, I wanted to share about is something that's happened to me recently in um, the technological world. Um, and I am not tech savvy at all, really. Um, but this is something that has been really cool um, of a way that technology and information has been um, a, a really great tool and um, in the form of reconnecting. You know, as a Christian in Christianity, um, having a relationship with the Lord, it's so relational. And, um, you know, and first in our relationship with Him and with our Savior, Jesus Christ, but also with each other. You know, being a Christian is just so relational. Being a disciple of Christ is so relational, and I'm learning that more and more as I grow um, uh, to be true. And so the the thing that's been happening in my life and on the theme of relational is this new um, app that's new to me in my life. Maybe it's not new to many of you, but it's called Marco Polo, and um, it was introduced to me by a friend of mine from high school. And um, essentially, it's a form of communication. And so, um, and I had to learn everything about it. But what I learned is that um, it's it gives you a form of communication with someone that you may not be able to see every day and be able to have a conversation with. Um, but better than um, the option of trying to FaceTime someone and being able to have that conversation, because sometimes if you live far away from someone, you can't always line up your schedules very well. And that can be something as an obstacle between the two of you to grow in your relationship with each other. And my friend is uh, lives in Iowa, so not a place where we can just meet up for coffee very easily or even FaceTime one another very often. And so this Marco Polo app allows you to record a video in your own time when it's convenient for you and then send it over the app to that person or the group of people that you can be in, um, in with in, in this app and to be able to talk to each other in that way so that when you have time to send a video, you can send it. And when you have time to receive a video, then you can receive it and watch it then. And so it enables this, um, uh, convenience element of things to be able to communicate when it works for you. So my friend from Iowa um, put it out to all of our friends um, in our friend group from high school. And I am actually very privileged by the grace of God to have 10 other friends of mine that we have walked um, together since high school and sometimes in some of them even earlier in middle school. And I have known since I was 10, 11 years old, all the way until now. And um, and so the relationships with these women have been really rich and long um, in their duration. And um, they've we've been able to, to walk together in a lot of chapters of our lives and seasons of our lives. So, and many of us live in different states. So this Marco Polo opportunity has been relatively new, but wonderful in its ability to reconnect um, to each other in a relational way and has had incredible benefits um, to be able to do this and have this capability. And so it got me thinking um, in, in all the the wonderful things that can happen when we are in relationship with each other, um, particularly if you're in relationship with someone who also is in a relationship with the Lord and walking with Him every day, how rich all of that can be. And some of these, the richness has, has been a lot of things that are very daily in, in their theme. You know, we've had conversations of what's your favorite dinner idea recipes or what kinds of things are your kids doing in their extracurricular activities? Um, you know, what are some of the books you're reading or podcasts you're listening to? And um, to have that connection with one another, to ask a question and be able to have um, that relationship with another person that can point you in a direction of, hey, I'm really inspired by this. How about you check it out? Um, has been a, re a really beautiful thing. And the other thing that's happened is that the individual gifts of each one of us have been able to really shine through, and that's been really beautiful too. You know, and one of my friends that's very gifted in cooking, <laughs> it's been very helpful to me, who is not gifted in cooking, um, is something that I've really valued, and I've seen how someone's gifts um, can be such a gift to others when um, you work as a body um, of people who are um, interested and able and gifted in different things. 
which led me to really think about how beautiful it is to be a part of the body of Christ and how each one of us has our own unique gifts and together we are a body and so much more beneficial and powerful and useful as a body than just as one individual part alone. In fact, you know, one individual part of the body can't function without the rest of it. And we see those truths to be um, very well explained in, in the Word of God and how He encourages that in us and in our relationships with each other. And, um, and so I wanted to pass that piece of it along. This is an example that I've really been able to see come to life um, through the form of Marco Polo um, as an app on my phone to, be, to see the body of Christ really be, um, be present in everyday things, but also in things that are spiritual gifts of encouragement and prayer and, um, and being intentional with one another and talking about things that um, are, uh, you know, beautiful to talk about with those that really know and love you. Um, and so I wanted to encourage that, um, uh, or encourage you in that, that, um, you know, our relationship and our, our, our relationship with the Lord and relationship with each other can just be this incredible gift. And, um, and, uh, and there's a lot of fruit that can come of it. The other piece of it that I really have come to learn, though, is, um, you know, a, a of how tempting um, the the piece it can be when we're in relationship with each, other, with each other and understanding that comparison can really be a dangerous trap. And um, you know, I've I've seen that you know it's very tempting to say, well, that other person is really gifted in something that I'm not. Is there something wrong with me? And there's not. We are all meant to be gifted in many different things, and together we are one body. And so I, um, I just wanted to pass that encouragement along as well, um, that um, there is no comparison in the body of Christ, that each piece of it is so wonderful and so important equally to create one body. So I'll leave you with the scripture um, all about the body of Christ um, as, we, um, as we've been given uh, through the, the word of God. And um, it's from 1 Corinthians chapter 12, starting at verse 12, where the scripture reads, There is one body, but it has many parts, but all its many parts make up one body. It is the same with Christ. We were all baptized by one Holy Spirit, and so we are formed into one body. It doesn't matter whether we were Jews or Gentiles, slaves or free people. We were all given the same spirit to drink, so the body is not made up of just one part. It has many parts. Suppose the foot says, I am not a hand, so I don't belong to the body. But saying this, it cannot stop being part of the body. And suppose the ear says, I am not an eye, so I don't belong to the body. By saying this, it cannot stop being part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, how could it hear? If the whole body were an ear, how could it smell? God has placed each part in the body just as he wanted it to be. If all the parts were the same, how could there be a body? As it is, there are many parts, but there is only one body. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.